It's National Police Week, and local law enforcement officers took the time Thursday to honor those who serve our communities and those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. KNEB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me in our top story. Law enforcement agencies from Scottsbluff County convened on the east lawn of the Scottsbluff Public Safety Building yesterday morning to honor fallen law enforcement officers. This year, Scottsbluff County Judge Chris Mickey delivered a speech honoring law enforcement. I speak today on behalf of my colleagues in the judicial system to congratulate those men and women of law enforcement who have given their energy, their talents, their intellect, and their heart to the service of their fellow citizens, often with great sacrifice. Scotts Mayor Jeannie McCarrigan also read the Police Week proclamation to the crowd while Scottsdale Police Chief Kevin Spencer commended all of our local agencies for the tremendous ability to work together. Well, this week, the Western Nebraska Regional Airport Board rejected two bids for the Central Air Service contract to replace SkyWest, who earlier announced they would not be renewing their contract. Airport Director Raul Aguayo says they received bids from Southern Air and Boutique, but the board declined to accept either bid. If we choose one of these carriers, and you know, and the aircraft were nice and the price points were really good, the problem is if we choose one of these aircraft, we'll probably never be able to go back to a twin engine again. Because uh, the uh, in the competitive bidding process, if a twin is ever ever available again, they have to be able to shoot in a lower price to the essential air service than the single engines that are that are in place, and and that's just not a possibility. Aguayo says with the rejections of the bids. The DOT will go after what they call secondary EAS, where carriers who don't necessarily fly essential air service will then be allowed to bid for our route. We'll have more news right after this. At Platte Valley Bank, we want to help you take advantage of every adventure. We know you have plans, goals, and dreams. Let us help you with them. Whether it is building, buying, or renovating, we have the home loan or home equity line of credit to fit your needs. Stop in and see us at Platte Valley Bank and let us help make your dreams a reality. You belong here. Platte Valley Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. May is Beef Month, a time to celebrate the high quality beef products that are raised by farmers and ranchers right here in Nebraska. With over 5 million cattle fed and marketed each year, Nebraska is the number one cattle feeding state in the country. From steaks and roasts to ground beef and kebabs, Nebraska's beef producers take pride in raising safe, wholesome products that end up on dinner plates around the world. Join the beef community by celebrating Beef Month with your favorite beef meal tonight. Beef, it's what's for dinner in Nebraska. Sponsored by Torrington Livestock Markets and Pioneer Animal Clinic. Life care promises us that we are looked after and taken care of properly. If I didn't have life care, I would be probably scared to death about having enough money uh, for when I got older or when I got sick. Moving in here was uh, an easy decision and in fact a, a no-brainer. I looked at it as actually buying long-term care insurance and in retrospect uh, a good move. One of the things that convinces me that we did the right thing is no matter what happens, we will constantly be taken care of. The whole thing is, is just vital because you don't have to be worried about what's ahead for you. It's there, it's in black and white, and that's reassuring. This is home, it has been, uh, from the day I moved in. Welcome back. The city of Scottsdale looks to move forward on the final phase of the 18th Street Plaza despite not receiving a sizable grant. They had applied for a $465,000 matching grant from the Nebraska Department of Economic Development and were hopeful that they'd be one of the recipients. However, Scottsdale Economic Development Director Star Lael says only three grants were awarded this go-around, with Lexington being the furthest west. 
She says now they look to move forward regardless. Um, we had an internal uh, group of our committee here in, at the city meet, and there was a few things that we thought, well, we could take this out, we could take that out, and very minor, very minor changes to the overall picture. So we're going to try to move forward with what we have and at least try to get the stage built and some of the other major fixtures within the plaza. She says the city is pursuing other grant opportunities and is also still selling custom engraved pavers as part of their Bricks for the Bluffs Plaza fundraiser. Well, WNCC and the Western Community College Area Board have come to a settlement of a claim by the estate of one of two students who died in a tragic aviation program accident last year. 24-year-old Zhao Shen Chen of China died from injuries suffered while working on an airplane engine at the WNCC Aviation Maintenance Training Facility in Sydney. The agreement provides for payment of $700,000 plus $10,000 for expenses. $700,000 of the settlement was paid by the college insurance company. $10,000 for the expenses was paid by WNCC. Also killed during the accident was 21-year-old Yemen An of Seoul, South Korea, but details on any settlement related to his death have yet to be disclosed. Both students were sophomores in the WNCC Aviation Maintenance Technician Program, and following their passing, a memorial fund was established in both of their names. And older Nebraskans will be keeping more of their hard-earned Social Security benefits even sooner after Governor Pete Ricketts signed LB873 into law. All state income taxes on Social Security checks will now be eliminated by the year 2025, five years earlier than outlined in a measure passed last year. Todd Stubendek with AARP Nebraska says dropping the tax is the right thing to do for nearly 350,000 Nebraskan seniors facing rising prices at supermarkets and the pump. This program was never designed to be a revenue raiser for the states. This is hard-earned Social Security benefits. All of it should be in seniors' pockets, spending how they want it to be spent. He notes the vast majority of older Nebraskans are not wealthy with fat pensions. They are middle-income folks living on a fixed budget. Nearly 55% of beneficiaries rely on Social Security for half or more of their income, and about 28% rely on Social Security for at least 90% of their income. Well, so the comes Bella Guzman in with her latest installment of Fridays in the Field. She'll have that in just a little bit. Fly United Airlines operated by SkyWest with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. United is dedicated to going the extra mile for you with daily flights to and from Denver along with a commitment to excellent service. Reserve your flight today and remember United miles can be earned and redeemed with your flights. While at the airport, stop and enjoy authentic Italian food at Roma Italian Restaurant. Plus, Hertz Thrifty Car Rental is there for your car rental needs. Make life easier, relax, and get on board with Western Nebraska Regional Airport. Welcome to Kelly's, home of the Valley's best selection of wine, spirits, and beer. Whether you're brand loyal to the tried and true brew or really enjoy trying something different and new, Kelly's has something for everyone. Family owned and operated and right on your way on West 27th Street in Scotts Bluff. Kelly's Liquor, if you can't find it at Kelly's, it's not worth drinking. The Verizon family is full of frowns because they're spending too much for their unlimited data and phones, while the Viero family is all smiles because they're getting four lines of unlimited data with two free Apple iPhone SE for mom and dad and two free LG K31 smartphones for the kids, all for just $100 a month. They're saving so much, they're able to get Fido. Find out how you can too at Viero.com or your nearest Viero store. Viero Wireless, keeping you connected. Logos and Gearing is the place to get all of your school spirit gear, personalized gifts, and promotional items for your business and employees and banners for any special event. Logos is also the only place to stop for custom screen printing or embroidery. You can even design it yourself on their interactive website. Stop into Logos today. They'll design it, print it, and have it to you in no time. There's no job too big or small for Logos. That's Logos in Gearing.
This is KNEB.TV Ag News from the FNBO Ag Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. Welcome to this week's Fridays in the Field, brought to you by FNBO, the great big small bank. It's a beautiful day out here in Dalton, Nebraska. We're here with Roland Rushman of Rushman Seeds. Is that correct? That's right. And we are going to be talking with him this summer a little bit about all of his crops. Irrigated wise, we usually stick with wheat, corn, and edible beans. Uh, and sometimes we might roll peas through there or sunflowers. Um, uh, we do use those occasionally, but usually it's just corn, pinto beans, and wheat. Uh, dry land wise, we switch it up a little bit because uh, our normal rotation on dry land is wheat, corn, my, uh, millet, and then peas, and back to wheat again after the peas. So um, there are other crops that we can add in out in western Nebraska that maybe they can't add in, uh, maybe more in the corn belt like sunflowers, milo. Uh, there are a few other crops that we use sometimes, depending on what the markets are and the moisture. All right, great. And of course, wheat's been doing really well. Tell me a little bit more about, you know, your wheat situation. So wheat, well, we've been struggling for the last three years uh, on wheat. Of course, we continue as crop. So it's it's been uh, pretty dry for three years in a row now, and uh, uh, wheat yields have been down. Uh, normally following peas we have uh, no drop in yield but um, even even behind peas we've been probably down I don't know 25 percent on yield on wheat on our uh, dry land. Irrigated of course that's you take the water factor out of things and and it's it's not an issue so we we had uh, the, the irrigated wheat's been okay. All right, great. Thanks, Roland. And we'll be back to visit you this summer as Fridays in the Field continue. I'm Chabella Guzman, and Fridays in the Field is sponsored by FNBO, the great big small bank. like how our OB department takes our limited amount of, of doctors and turns it into a strength. Even though we only have a couple of people, you get to know them well over your entire pregnancy. We have two state-of-the-art labor rooms that are new with our last edition. We have a couple of very nice postpartum rooms also right here in the hospital so they can get as much time with mom and baby as possible. What's happening on your weekend community calendar?
calendar is brought to you by Riverstone Bank. First State Bank is now Riverstone Bank. Community strong with the same people you know and trust. Find out what convenient really means at the Western Travel Terminal. Start with our great selection of food and drinks from for real milkshakes and fresh brewed coffee to snacks and hot food. Next, check out our beer and spirits with their everyday low prices. Finally, let us work for you with our full service gas station and automatic truck and car wash. All this can be found at 822 South Beltline in Scotts Bluff. Western Travel Terminal, your convenient shopping, restaurant, and full-service gas leader. At Platte Valley Bank, we want to help you take advantage of every adventure. We know you have plans, goals, and dreams. Let us help you with them. Whether you are just starting the business you have always imagined or looking to grow your existing one, we have a business loan to fit your needs. Stop in and see us at Platte Valley Bank and let us help make your dreams a reality. You belong here. Platte Valley Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. And finally tonight, Law enforcement, transportation, and healthcare officials gathered in Lincoln yesterday to promote the use of seatbelts as we head into the summer driving season. The annual Click It or Ticket mobilization of law enforcement nationwide gets underway next week, running more than three months to make our roadways safer. Nebraska State Patrol Superintendent Colonel John Bolduck told reporters yesterday that law enforcement does not want this summer to be another 100 deadliest days. This year we need to reverse that trend and make the 100 days of summer as safe as possible for Nebraskans and visitors. That's why our troopers are teaming up with officers and deputies from across the country and across the state for the Click It or Ticket campaign. Nebraska DOT Director John Selmer noted that Nebraska was one of few states in the country that saw a decrease in roadway fatalities last year but now we're catching up to the rest of the country. In addition to using your seatbelts, authorities also discuss the impact of distracted driving, especially use of smartphones for texting or reading other material and taking your eyes off the road. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday.